56% of our children had three ears, double rows of teeth, extra fingers, extra toes, or were mentally retarded. That is what would happen if they frack here. There is no difference. There is absolutely no difference. Governor O'Malley needs to learn and heed the lessons of the past. Do not make that same mistake in the state of Maryland that was made in Love Canal. I have traveled to Wyoming, Colorado, Dakotas, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and I've seen firsthand what the fracking does. And all the science and all the assurances that this stuff's going to go way down deep and it will never cross the water table, it will never contaminate you, is hogwash. Yeah. Or I can say something else. While the industry is making millions of dollars and nobody has the studies, nobody knows for sure, they say, what fracking will do. Well, I'll tell you firsthand, fracking will kill the environment. Fracking will poison your water and fracking will hurt the health. And for the state of Maryland to go forward without not just the studies they're proposing, but more studies to assure and ensure that you do not end up like the families at Love Canal would be a foolish mistake by the state of Maryland. At Love Canal, we did not win because we were right, but we were right. We did not win because we were sick. We did not win because we had legal rights, although we had some. We won at Love Canal, and people across the country are winning because of people like you. Because we stood up. You can't just deal with the science. You've got to deal with the politics. You've got to be in your legislators' faces. You've got to be polite, respectful, and as hard as rock that they want to frack. <laughs> Don't back down. Tell them to get to work. Tell them to do it next year, and the vote is going to be 6 0. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Lois Gibbs. Um